Okay. So my name's Christine, and I'm Maddie. Hello. Hi, Mike. Yeah, that's Mike. Um, He's the quiet one in the corner. Yes, <laughs> he is. Um, yeah. you, can you say your name again? Sure, so my, name the, <laughs> my, so name is, the my name is Todd Whitten. Um, so if you could have lunch with one historical figure, who would you pick? Ooh, that's a tough question. Um, well, I guess it would depend. If I wanted no table manners, I'd say Genghis Khan. <laughs> Uh, if I wanted to never actually speak, it would probably be Napoleon because he'd just talk the whole time and I'd just have to sit there and smile and look pretty. But I guess if I were looking for somebody to have an interesting conversation with, I would choose uh, a man named Qin Shi Huangdi, who's the first emperor of China. Hmm, very cool. Yeah. So, um, imagine your perfect classroom. What would it look like? <laughs> Ooh. My perfect classroom? Yeah. yeah like you, the classroom of your dreams. Um, the classroom of my dreams would actually have. Well, how much detail do you want? Like you want. Depends. Whatever you just, want. Just whatever you so want. So this could really be like my ultimate makeover. Of yeah. My yeah if you were given a million dollars, what would you, uh, to renovate your classroom? Uh, I'd go to Italy. Uh, <laughs> oh, for my classroom. Yeah. Um, uh, I like would go to Italy too. It's okay. Yeah. I would not have white walls. There would be color oh. uh, color on the walls I of some hate kind. I white walls. Oh, my gosh. Um, I think there would be a mixture of furniture. I would want to have everything from beanbag chairs to, like, I, uh, well, all right, I hate those the desks and chairs that are combined in mm-hmm. one. I find them completely uncomfortable. I can't imagine you why know, anybody would want it's them. It's interesting because every person that, that we've asked imagine a perfect classroom, that's the, one of the first things I've said is I would, yeah. nev- I would, I would not never have, have those, those desks. chairs. No. I, so I why, I, I, I wonder why they haven't gotten rid of them yet. Uh, because they don't ask teachers. <laughs> well, <laughs> because we it's should, unimaginative we should, principles. We're, st- we're starting something. It's going to yes, happen. We're starting a, a rebellion. Let's yes. start on Twitter. No yes. attached desks. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, anyway, sorry. You can yes. Uh, so yeah. So I'd have beanbag chairs. I'd have I'd have desks and tables. I'd have. I I know. All right. If you talk to Mike Milton and you asked him that question, he said, "I want high top tables." Yeah, that's what he and, said. And I would like that too because I, I. But maybe not with even seats, like just tables, because sometimes people like to stand and yeah. walk around. Um, my school has iPads. All the kids have iPads. So <laughs> having having that and like being able to be mobile and take video and all that sort of stuff would be awesome. Yeah. Um, and then I'd have I'd have like bigger tables with with chairs that you could actually sit in, so that if we were sitting down and doing this kind of activity, we could sit down and do it. Hmm. So it would be all mixed. And then I would have uh, one corner of the room because it'd be a big room. It wouldn't be a small little teeny room. It would be a big, wide, expansive room. On one end, there would be a big screen TV that kids could use, like Apple TV or AirPlay or whatever, and then they could put up. Like they could have a Twitter feed rolling, or they could have mm-hmm. a video that everybody could see, and then the other end would have like a projector, an LCD projector, so that the same thing can do. Mm. Yeah. There's so. a teacher in our school that's retiring and basically he's has giving just, away, like, plasma, he's just giving away like big big screens. I I don't know. I don't know. Why haven't you taken it? That would be the perfect I, thing I, yeah. in anybody's bedroom. Would be like a wall. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um. So what class? What class do you teach? First of all, uh, I teach. Well, I'm the department head. So oh. this year I teach um, AP World History. Um, so would you like to join us? He's back. Um, and uh, <laughs> I teach with Mr. Wooden. <laughs> And he likes attention. Uh, and uh, I teach uh, an elective that I just created called Modern America, which looks at um, TV, music, video, fashion, uh, movies, all from the 1970s to now. So what's your favorite unit out of all of them? Out of all of them? Out of all of them. I really like the 1980s. So I think my unit on the 80s right now is definitely my favorite. Um, yeah. Good stuff. You're going to learn some interesting things that you never learned about him before. What have you learned? He didn't. He wants, like, plasma TVs in his room. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I want, nice. I want big flat screen. He, I want multi. I would, well, I would want a flat screen. Ooh, and good speakers. I oh. want good quality speakers I said that. Sound. <laughs> he, he, want, he wanted a fireplace. Yeah, he said he wanted For exposed brick. burning his students? Bri- I don't know if that's such a good idea. He wanted no. exposed no. brick. And a fireplace. He's very urban that way, yeah. yeah. I actually like would be very urban. Did he tell you about his garden patio? Because that's what he really wants, is he wants to be able to open up a door onto the roof next to his classroom and have there be a garden out there. That would be amazing. And so the the herbs that were grown or whatever was grown, we'd also use in the cafeteria. Ooh, and I would awesome. have a nice place to sit after school. And then we, 
few people wouldn't complain about the food being gross. You'd be like, well, there's you know, there's there's good stuff. Like our green food. chicken. Uh, I don't know. Think, <laughs> think about purple rice. Think, of, oh, think about yeah. the group. There's purple pur- rice. Yeah, in our cafeteria we have purple rice. It's like purple. There's, there's supposedly like stuff in it. I don't know. I don't know. A doctor it's Seuss. from the purple's mountains, Majesty. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Next day is the amber waves of green. Uh, <laughs> how many students do you see smiling in your classroom? Like a percentage kind of thing. Like do you see. Why did he get that question and I didn't? Because I'm a happier guy than you. He no, because he had shorter answers than you. Yeah. Ah, you two are not too long. Well, we had two people. Yeah. yeah. But now you can answer now if you want. Um, you may not get in, in an average day, like what percentage of my students smile. I hope at the end, by the end of my class, I hope that 100% of them have smiled at least once. Um, like if there isn't a kid smiling, like what can you improve, like the non-smiling kids? How could you get the kids? How, how can you get them? Maybe you could do a little dance. Usually I tell jokes. Um, yeah. Or I do something silly. But or, not every but, kid wants to, like, sometimes yeah. Sometimes you just don't want to smile. Right. I mean, yeah. you have days yeah. where you're just like, leave me alone and let me sit under my storm cloud. Yeah. And so. it'd be great to get that person to smile, but sometimes it's just like, okay. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes just, they just not have a good day. Yeah, well, yeah. you know when somebody's annoying the crap out of you trying to make you feel better by saying, are you in a bad mood? Why are you in a bad mood? Yeah. Why can't you be in a better oh. mood today? Who wants to be that guy? No. So. Yeah, no. Um, what's one thing that you've experienced as a teacher that has affected you as a person? Or, like, how has being a teacher affected you? This one's tough. This one is tough. Um, I guess most tangibly is that... <laughs> yeah. When I'm on the subway, if I'm on the T in Boston, and I hear somebody swear, I automatically turn, and I'm like, don't swear. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do that in the hallway. If a kid's, like, walking down the stairs, I'm like, language... Yeah, it's like a, language. Yeah, it's a total teacher response. <laughs> One of these days, it's gonna get me beat up, but so far it hasn't. <laughs> um, what's one thing you wish we would have asked you? You're at the end. I'm at the end. I've made it to the end. Um, I wish you'd ask me. <laughs> I wish you'd ask me what question I didn't want to be asked. What question didn't you want to be asked? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, there are not very many. Nobody really asks teachers very many questions. So I, get, I would guess the one, the one question that I would not want to be asked is, why don't you give everybody an A all the time? Yeah. Well, I, I know like most teachers want to like like, like uh, Miss Balzac, our art teacher. She's like, oh, I want to give everyone A's, but I can't. So I I create I create this really easy criteria to give people A's. <laughs> my answer. Uh, that's, that, always, that's always a solution. Like, yeah. who was it? Who's that said? Oh my God. Be like Oprah. You get an A. Yeah. You get an A. You're all <laughs> getting A's. All getting A's. One but of our then teach- really, what are you our, what are you looking for? Yeah. There was one of our teachers recently that was like. Oh, I basically, I basically made the. It was Miss Clancy, who was like, I basically made the grading so you can't do bad. Oh yeah, that was Friday. <laughs> no, no, that was yesterday. Like, that was yesterday. Okay, yeah. hey, yesterday was Friday. No, yes, it was Monday. So they're taking AP the civics or government. Um, so I think we think we're taking both. I think because it's a half. It's a yeah, half, it's half, double, half, 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 half year. And then the first half year is AP. We're in the AP class in ninth grade. In ninth grade. Cool. AP. Not bad. Yeah. Good luck with that next year. Thanks. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming, sure. doing this no with problem. us. No problem. Um, what thank are you guys you using the interviews in. for? Like, what's the? Um, what's well, the if you want, Laura, well, social studies teacher, why don't you get like a record of like who came, their ideas, oh, so like yeah. kind of like archive it for like yeah. past yeah. years. Cool. I like it. Good job.